back with another installation of video and after a long time I'm going to show you how can we install the Android 13 ROM on Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 as well. So I already booted my device into recovery mode and after that you guys already know what to do and if you know you can skip and if you don't know and if you are always confused about that then of course you can continue the video. So first of all go to that wipe section and select Dalvik data cache system and vendor as well then swipe to flash and when you are done just do clean flash always recommended so that's why I am doing the formation and always do format data and when you are done just do a reboot to recovery and I am not doing this one right now because I was using Android 10 when you are coming from any lower version of Android to higher version then you don't need to do that thing as well uh, then of course when we get to the folder you have stored your ROM files which is new one just go to that thing And I'm installing the Android 13 and which is called Rise Droid, the latest one. Here is the Rise Droid Android 13. And of course, this is a vanilla build, so you guys need to install G apps. And I'm clicking here, I'm installing the ROM and the G apps uh, at the same time. So that's why I'm going to add to queue. Just click on that, get back. And here I have the Nick Cap score one. So I'm selecting and then of course swipe to flash and both the ROM and G apps will be flashed one by one automatically. You don't need to worry about anything. And when you are done just reboot system, if you want to root your device then of course root your device later after booting your device. First of all boot your device and then root your device again get back to recovery and then uh, flash magic 24.3 remember that thing 24.3 we have some device specific problem so that's why you guys won't be able to use any latest magics so this is a recommendation for magic 24.3 always use magic 24.3 for android 13. And this is Rise Drive 10.2, very latest update for Redmi 7 and other devices as well available. And if your device is in, not included, then of course uh, find out the unofficial. So now G apps is flashing, which is Nick Gap Score. I always recommend you guys to use Nick Gap Score so that you guys can get better performance while using the device because uh, G Cam's uh, G app Score is very light. Right? So flashing process already done, just reboot system and you're good to go. So this is the process you guys can follow to install any Android 13, any Android 12, actually any Android uh, version you can flash like this. This is the process for our device or any devices it's an universal process so no problem with that i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching